Welcome to the ninth Enview Composer tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the photo gallery page. Um, before we begin, I want to go in and make sure that you have the necessary files you need to complete this. You'll notice here that I have some sample pictures. These aren't are, are going to be projects that you completed, but you've completed uh, uh, an actual picture file in a previous unit in this course, and you're going to be using those pictures to, to make up your photo gallery. Uh, I have sample pictures that I've placed here on my desktop uh, to make it a little easier for you to understand how this is going to be put together. Uh, I also have a icon here, Documents Shortcut, that I can open up and show you how we want to move these pictures and where we want to put them. Uh, so go ahead and find wherever you put your root folder for your COM201 website. Uh, I'm going to open up my, my documents here, and you can see 201 COM course is right here. I'm going to open that, and then you're going to see the last name underscore COM201 site. Uh, so go ahead and find your site, and then open up to the root folder. Hopefully you found that now and we can move on to the next part. You can, should see all of your HTML pages here from choice all the way down to vid.html. Uh, and then we also want to see our images folder. We want to open up that images folder and we should see the banner graphic that we used when we started creating the template way back when in tutorial one. What we want to do is move uh, these picture files into here. Uh, I recommend that you leave them wherever you had them before so you don't uh, misplace them, but make a copy. And what I'm going to do is just highlight over all of these. And it might look a little different. I'm using Windows 7. Uh, but if, if you're using uh, XP or Vista, uh, the same process, just clicking and dragging over top of them on your desktop should work. And then if you right click on any of the pictures, just right click right on the middle of one and come down here to copy. And it will copy all of those. And then we're going to click have to click inside uh, this empty space here and then if you right click you can then paste those graphics so then all of those will be in here and you can see I have a generic file name uh, with COM201, unit 5 and then final picture project, picture 1, picture 2, picture 3 and picture 4. Um, I've made them a little different colors so that it doesn't confuse you as to which one is which uh, but you're going to be positioning these in, in specific areas on your actual uh, picture gallery or photo gallery page. All right, once you have that done, and we can go ahead and close that root folder, and we can get open into EnView. Uh, once you're open into EnView, again, in the Site Manager, you can open into the COM201 course page, and then you can go ahead and open up the gallery.html page. So I'm just going to double-click on that. All right, now with the photo gallery page, again, we need to have this prepped for our first uh, nested table for this page. So we're going to just right click in here, table cell properties, and again changing the content here, content alignment to vertical and horizontal. We're going to make that top and we're going to make this center. Select OK. Now our cursor will be blinking up here when you click. Uh, and then we need to put in our nested table. Uh, again going up to table here on the menu bar, insert, and then table as well. Uh, this table is going to be a little different. We're actually going to do our first two column table and we're going to make it a two column and four row table. So it's going to be four by two there. And then it is on your page. Uh, once you have it there, go ahead and double click inside of any of the cells. And it's going to bring up the table properties box. Uh, again, you want to make sure you switch to table. And then we're going to change this uh, to the same. We're going to put in 600 pixels there. Make sure this has pixels. Uh, border is zero, cell spacing is zero, and then changing or keeping the cell padding at two and changing this to center. And then we're going to select OK. Uh, now we have our, our two column table and we're actually going to take care of the first two um, rows and merge these top cells together. Uh, so we're going to make this one big cell and then make that one big cell. And again to do that you just click inside the first one, drag over, you can start from the right as well and move to the left, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, and then you're going to right click and then we want to join these cells together. So we're going to go down here and select join selected cells. Uh, we're going to repeat that process for the second row as well. So I'm going to right click join selected cells. And now we have the nested table that we need. 